So I'm going to um, lock in this row of weaving. So I'm going to trim these up a little bit. I've got my two rows done. Save that for another project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up that previous row of weaving and I'm going to thread that weaver through there. And I'm going to pull it tight. And I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. And then once again, I let this dry. And you can um, trim that up later. So we're going to start the um, kind of the, the small stripe section of the basket. So you can see it's pretty flat. What we want to do is we want to start it going up on the sides. So we start with a uh, black weaver, and we're going to do about 24 rows. Now I have a table to work on my side when I'm starting out. And the black, we're going to start with a black weaver, and we want to make sure that it's on top of a black stamp. When I'm starting out, I use clips. to hold these in place as I go around. Just kind of helps a little bit. So, make sure that we are on top of a black stick with a black weaver. And we're going to alternate. Oh, that's going to be persnickety. Uh, we're going to alternate between the black and white. Well, I'm just going to clip it on the white one. So, and remember when you're weaving, you always, always, always start on top of the stake, not behind. And the reason for that is, is because you want to cover up the beginning of your row and also the end of the row. And I'm going to show you how that happens. So it's normal to think, well, I don't want this to show, I want it back behind. Wrong thought. You always, always, always want it on top. Now, three quarter is pretty heavy duty stuff, so I'm going to spray that just a little bit so I get a little flex on this. I don't want it soften, I just want it lightly sprayed. So once I start getting the sides going up the way I want them, then I'll take it off the table and just sit it in my lap and weave. And everybody weaves a little different. If you want to keep weaving on the table, that's fine. Like I said, I'm a lap weaver. So, I'm coming around on this first row. And if you want to come in a little bit, you can pull sideways just a little bit. Just a little bit. But you want to make sure that it's even around. That is one way to get your shape. So, this is that beginning piece. See, it's on top of it. And I'm going to go past it for one, two, three, four stakes. And what that does so it covers up the beginning. Don't need my clip anymore. Covers up the beginning. And then it covers up the end. And I'm going to trim that up just a little bit because I cut it a little bit too long. Okay? You can put that clip back on. The next row will hold it in place, but it doesn't hurt to do that. Okay? So my next row, I always take it like a quarter turn or a half turn, doesn't matter. And we're going to start out another one in natural. Now, kind of a word to it wise with natural, especially if you've got it in the same water as the black. Of course, this is going to start on the natural. Uh, this stuff, unless you're weaving really fast, it can pick up the black, which is not a good thing. All right, I don't know where my clip is, so I'm not going to put it on, but normally I would. Okay, and actually what I'm going to do is I come past this other one here. I'm just going to pick that up and stick it back over on that white one. I usually have two or three clips that I'm working with at the same time. Remember that you want your the right side, which I didn't do. The right side, which is the smooth side, the outside of your basket. So make sure you check it before you start. Smooth side out, rough side to the inside of the basket, because you're not looking at the inside, you're looking at the outside. So we're going to do about 24 rows of this, and I won't bother you through the whole process here. Um, 
before we get to the Cherokee crosses. So we've got, in this basket, we've got stripes, and then we have the crosses. So pretty dynamic in black and red. So you get the idea. Remember, I want this to slowly come out. So I'll put just a little bit of pressure on, on that weaver. Um, super wide, and I don't want it to be kind of a column shape, a bowl shape to it. So it doesn't hurt to do three or four rows, set it down, and take a look at your sides and see what they're doing. See if you have to make any adaptations to it. And once again, I'm going to do the four: one, two, three, four. There's that beginning. This is going to be my end. The clip goes away for a minute. One, two, three, four. And that time I cut it right. So, like I said, I'm just going to have that hold there. Make another quarter turn. Start with the black. 